Hello, hello. So I saw the request this morning. Somebody was struggling with being sharing the links to Amazon. So I thought I'd jump on and share. I was actually working on an article about journaling, very crafty, and I wanted to share the supplies that I use. So I came in this morning and found them already. This is the journal book that I use that I like. And these are the watercolor pencils. So I'm going to include that in my article. I'm going to do it in a different place. I'm not quite there yet, but I will show you so that you can see how to do this. Okay, so it's journal prompts, right? If I wanted to do it as a text and I wanted to include, we'll just say journal book, blah, blah, blah. So I want to talk about journal books. And I wanted to share the link. Okay, so I would go back to the Amazon link that I wanted. And you will see up here at the top when, as an associate, I have this extra little bar and I can pick text. And this is the text. So I just clicked on it, click on text from within the item that I wanted in Amazon. Grab the short link. You can control C on a PC or right click and copy. I'm not sure how you do it on a Mac. And then go to where you wanted to include that link. And when you highlight it, I should mention I am in WordPress using Elementor. So if it looks different for you, it still should work the same. Highlight the text. This little chain link is your link. So you just paste that link right in there and you're good to go. Now when somebody is reading down your blog post, they come across this link and they click on it. It will open Amazon to your affiliate link. Now, what I'm going to do is I like to demonstrate. I like, I'm very visual. So instead, I come into here and I want to add HTML. So I'm going to grab this little block of HTML and drop it right there. I will go back to Amazon and I am going to grab the image. So I like to grab the small images so they don't take over my post. Right click, copy, or any way that you the copying works for you. Back to your blog post, into that HTML code, and paste it. And then you can title it. So journal book I use. Because I do a lot of demonstrating and I'm going to be doing a watercolor journaling workshop this week. So this, this book is great for watercolor specifically. So I'm going to be talking about that and I can show what I'm actually using. And then down here, we are up here. We click apply down here. We can preview the changes and it loaded and there it is. So now when they click on it, it see that opens right to their item and they can add it right to their cart and go. Same thing if I want to add a second item. See, I've got a second box right here. I go to my second item, image, small, copy, back to the post. I need to grab another HTML, HTML, grab it, drop it in, paste, Water color pencils and apply. So there you go. That's how you do the text, and then that's how you do the image. You can make these as big as you want or as small as you want, and you can add a third one in here just by adjusting your code or dropping in another image. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or you need anything else, give me a holler. I'm just working today. Bye.